Give him a smile. A nod. Gentlemanly nod. Have a look around, maybe use the room around you, just the space, the hay that's there on the side. Get used to the sounds, these things will happen. And when you feel comfortable, sit comfortably tall. Close your eyes. And you got it, just breathe. Inhale, natural exhale. If there's anything else going on in your mind, then just bring yourself back to just inhale, exhale. That's it. Deeper inhale, deeper exhale. Breathing into the count of five. Breathing out to the count of five. Deep breath in now. One, two, three, four, five. And exhale to five. Inhale to five. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale to five. chant the one syllable mantra Om. You've seen it maybe on the movies. Om. We're going to chant in one voice all together. So take a nice deep breath now. And in one voice all together. Oh. Deep breath. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
chanting, whenever we start this kirtan, chanting mantras, we always begin by offering gratitude to our teachers, our guides, our gurus. And if you haven't got one of those, don't worry. Just think of someone in your life right now who's given you something really of value, something which you're deeply appreciative of, something you're deeply grateful for. We've all got someone. It took a village to raise us. So think of someone now, just in the front of your mind, just picture that person. To offer the gratitude, we're going to chant a mantra together, the five of us at the front. Don't worry, you won't know it. If you do know it, you can chant with us, but I'm sure most of you won't. That's okay. Just offer a prayer in your mind, a meditation in your mind, a few words, just a sentence or two or of some gratitude and some love for that person that you've got in your mind now. We'll start off with one more Om. It's a deep breath. gentle breath out. And gently opening your eyes once again, bringing yourself back to the space where we're seated. So you can see the power of sound. Uh, it helps us to transport the consciousness. You can see already the atmosphere in this room is very different to when we started. Uh, anyway, for me, anyway, I can feel the effect on my consciousness. It feels more mm, in tune with what we're about to do. It feels, yeah, it feels the world's in a different space, a different time. And that's the power of sound, the power of mantra, the power of meditating. It helps us to transcend a lower level of consciousness, a lower level of awareness, where it's all about the senses and all about how can I get the quickest taste for enjoyment in this material world. And uh, through this process of mantra chanting, through this process of spiritual life, we're able to transcend our desires so that it's about love, uh, the cheesy stuff. Uh, it's about serving others. Um, and bhakti yoga, or this tradition where kirtan comes from, called bhakti yoga, uh, it's all about 
uh, absorbing or becoming aware about of, of the love that's there all around us in every moment. Uh, in every living entity, there is uh, love personified in the heart. And then being able to serve, being able to give and share whatever you can, whatever your skill is, being able to serve uh, divinity, serve God, serve the absolute truth, whatever you want to call it, the universe. Um, being able to give something back. So it's, uh, it's a process of absorption, first becoming aware, who am I, what, what is divinity, um, is there such a thing? And then being able to realize, okay, now I know who I am, let me act in such a way which is of service to others. Let me act in such a way which is giving back to others. And so that's why I'm really drawn to this space, because I feel like in this brotherhood, that's what it's about. It's about trying to help each other. It's not one single person selfishly trying to gain, but we're here. You don't know whether your conversation may have helped another person. Just a hello or just a, an arm around the shoulder, that might just uplift someone. And that's the mood of service, of giving back and being able to uh, yeah, love others. That's what I mean to say. So uh, that's bhakti yoga or this process uh, in, in a nutshell to understand there's love everywhere and to be able to serve that love. Um, but first we have to get into the knowledge that it's there. And the way we do that is through chanting. So the first mantra I want to chant with you is um, hopefully a simple mantra, one which we can chant together. It only has two words in it. Sita Ram. Sita, S-I-T-A, Sita Ram, R-A-M. It's not Ram. Uh, like Ram, R-A-A-M. Spell like that. So maybe you can repeat after me. Sita. Sita. Ram. 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 That's all you need to know for the first mantra. Sita. So we'll chant in a call and response way, which means you first get to hear my frog-like voice. And then uh, everyone will chant together in unison and Keshav and Vasudev, Kaylee will be singing the response. At the beginning you'll be focused on the melody, you'll be focused on pronouncing it properly, but just give it some time and uh, as you get into it, close your eyes a little bit more and just try to hear the love in the syllables that's there. Sita, Sita means feminine divine. In Bhakti Yoga we also have feminine divinity. God is also a woman. And Ram means <clears throat> reservoir of pleasure. Ram, reservoir of pleasure. So if we call out to the feminine divine and reservoir of pleasure, maybe our senses can be pleased beyond that of the lower things of our desires. Sitaram, Sitaram, Sitaram. Everyone together. Sitaram, Sitaram, Sitaram. Sitaram. Close your eyes. 
and just don't worry about what the other person sitting next to you is thinking about your chanting. In Kirtan, one of the first rules is not to be shy, not to be so worried about your brother sitting next to you. They're trying, they're also thinking the same thing as you. So this is a chance, a chance to perhaps awaken your consciousness to something beyond this material world, beyond the frustration of this material world. So let's give it our best shot, let's try. Maybe there's something there for us. Who knows? We won't know until we give it bash. Deep breath. Everyone together. See the
everyone together. karaoke stage and into a spiritual stage. And how do we do that? We fill the words with meaning. So the meaning that Sita Ram I want to try and share with you today. Let's call out, let's call out this chanting with a mood that please allow me to transcend my lower pleasures. Let me help, let help me to transcend my lower pleasures so that I may be able to reach pure love. Pure happiness, unconditional love. Help me to transcend. Help me to transcend. Deep breath. Sita 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 Everyone together. Sita